Good morning internet, it is 8.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am now in Van Rijnsdorp here in South Africa and look what a mysterious cloud, like low hanging cloud is kind of <laughs> covering town. So yeah, um, let's see how <laughs> terrible the visibility is going to be. I just want to bring you to the map and show you what the plan is for today. So I'm now over here and today is another good attempt to go to Namibia. I'm trying to cover quite a little bit of distance today because I want to end up here in Kleinzee. Um, so I'm first going to follow the main road here, which probably is a little bit boring. But then here at Kamiskroon, I'm going to cut across through the Namakwa National Park and then follow like some small roads down here to Kleinzee. So I really have to start hurrying up now because I only have one week left on my visa-free stay in South Africa. So I could stay three months in South Africa without a visa and I only have one week left. So I really need to make my way to the Namibian border and I'll probably cross just the day before my stay ends in South Africa. I really want to make the most of my time here and I think I, I'll manage that. Um, but today it will be a long ride. Uh, I'll have to check the, the distance, but it's something like 300 something kilometers. But I thought because the first part is on the, the highway, um, I should be able to do it. If we don't have any surprises, Map cover. All right, so let's put my helmet on and let's go. Right, 335 kilometers. Ah, wow, the visibility really is dreadful. So now I'll just enter the highway, the N7. I don't think I'll be able to see anything of the scenery, but I don't think that's really a problem because I don't think there's much to see on this stretch anyway. So I'll just rop rop quickly pass through this stretch until we get to like the interesting stuff. All right, I'll see you when it gets interesting again. <laughs> Welcome in Kamiskroon. Let's have a little look at this town. The weather completely cleared up. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that because this morning oh, for quite a while I was thinking oh dear oh dear let's feel up here Um, I like to get some petrol, please. Okay, full tank. Sorry? Full tank. Yes, full. And also uh, this one. All right. So, to me, it feels like the ride can now really begin. Okay, we're going here. So, this is the N7. So, that's the highway I was riding on. I'm crossing to the other side. Heading towards the coast again. More sand. Oh.
pretty sure this is all public road though. As long as there's no gates with coats, <laughs> I'm fine, I think. Seems like all I'm doing in South Africa is opening and closing gates. That's a one massive gate. This gate just won't stop. There's a, what's it called? Huge antelope. I don't know what his name is. See it run? There he goes. It's one of those, uh, oh, it's Oryx. Oryx. Oh, there's another one. An Oryx. Here, here, here. And a small antelope there. Oh, he's right in front of me. Wow. I'll stop here because I'm just chasing him now. Wow! Awesome! And I, I just saw a smaller antelope there as well. See, it's now there at the end of the road. Wow! Fantastic! Wow. Come on! Seeing those oryxes was so cool! Surely it must also be because nobody really passes through here that they are just wandering around here. But I did not see that coming. Well, neither did I. Oh, there I see it run again. Down there. Ah, it's probably too far for you to see now. But he's running down the hill over there. Or she. Uh, I think this is very quickly is going to rank to one of my favorite rides in South Africa. Ooh. A little rough here. It's 
it's good that I'm going downhill. Going up this is just a little tricky. Ooh. No wonder nobody rides here. I definitely won't catch up with Mr. Oryx now. This took me much longer to come down the hill than, than the Oryx. He just went flying. The wide open spaces. It's just this, you know, being the only person in this fastness. That's why I love roads like these. Just get the whole place to yourself. Unbelievable. Sand. Ooh. Incredible. Let's have uh, one last look back. Oh wow. It's even more beautiful here. I don't know where to look. <laughs> yeah. That is behind me. And this is in front of me. Wow. I so did not see this coming today. What a surprise is this place. I cannot believe it. There's an actual town here. What is this town then? Subatsfontein. Oh. Wow. I wonder how many people live here. Hey, little goaties. Run! Ah, some paved stuff. Subatsfontein. Oh, straight back to dirt. <laughs> On to Canaries Fontein.
I have reached Kleinzee. I'm back at the coast. Here it is, yes. So somebody? <laughs> Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Cottage. Thank you. Hi. Not only. Where do you come from? From the Netherlands. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. And you're going alone with the. Yeah. Gee. <laughs> <Strong> woman. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I got such a warm welcome here by the host of this BB. Super nice. She just gave me tea and cookies, and oh, it was really nice. Um, I am just exhausted i'm so shattered and it was a really long day it's now about five o'clock um but wow today just really took me by surprise the namakoa national park was just wow really really amazing uh, i love the ride it's just the last bit like the last 20 k's or so before i reached the paved road and uh, just before town it was this sandy road but then sometimes it was hard sometimes it was like deep sand pits so it took a lot of effort and like concentration to ride through that. So I think that's also why I'm a little bit tired. But anyway, I loved it. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.